Hey guys! So, what's up? I actually got to ask on Tumblr to do a video about my industrial piercing, which... Ignore the hair, I just got out of the shower, and... Yeah. So... Actually, I now have had my industrial for a month now. It is the third. I've also had it for four weeks. It's been four weeks on Monday, and... A month today so that's pretty awesome if they I'm gonna do it in the same order as I did like my septum and tragus one which I don't quite remember but I will talk about piercing it the jewelry cleaning it and all that good stuff so I got mine pierced June 3rd 2013 it's pierced at a 14 gauge it has a let me see if I can kind of a 14 gauge barbell it's one and one half inch Yeah, it's a one and a one half inch barbell, long. I don't have an extra one to show you. Sorry, can gauge the balls on it are five millimeters, and so that's about it. Now, whenever he pierced it, he asked me which one I wanted first, um, and I just said go top to bottom because the top one tends to be more painful. Now, I do agree with that. It, it, it fucking hurt. <laughs> But then again, the bottom one was just as painful. They're both kind of evened out. I mean, it's a piercing. It's a fairly large piercing um, compared to like my conch, which is a 16 gauge, or my lip. It is a very large set piercing. So it has healed amazingly. Um, Makes me go get the stuff that I clean. Up. So I actually used two things to clean it. Let me just. So the first one I actually bought at the piercing shop and I'm almost out so I do need to go buy more. It is this stuff, I'll link the description, I'll put a link to it to buy it, but it's um, I don't know if you can, it's called Expressions Piercing Aftercare Spray. This stuff is amazing! Um, most people say when they, around the six month mark is when they can start sleeping on it. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> most people say at the six month mark six month mark is when they can lay on it or sleep it or sleep on it or anything like that or change it I've had mine for a month and I can lay on it I can hit it I can touch it I can move my ear I mean yeah now it's kind of hurts because I just fucked it up but I've had no like problems with it although I do have a keloid or no no I have a hypertrophic scar on this one but it's actually going away because I put this on it. Um, you can also buy tea tree oil, but this stuff works just as fine. I just put it on a Q-tip and put it on once to twice a day, and it's gotten a whole lot better. It's raining. Is it? Uh. I'll also leave a link below to another really good video about industrial aftercare with uh, hypertrophic scarring. If you get one, don't freak out. They're common with industrials. They're actually more prone to get one. So if you get it, it's probably just because you're unlucky like I was. Um, but yeah, I clean it three to five times a day like my piercer told me to. He told me I could change it after six weeks. So at the six week mark, I'm going to go into the shop and get it changed to a wavy bar. I'm gonna go buy one soon, so that's pretty cool. And, um, yeah. Um, I never explained, like, how he pierced it. So, say, like, this is the top of my ear. He went, like, here's the needle. He went, like, that with it. Does that make sense? Um, the worst part about the piercing was probably whenever he had to fold your ear together to get the needle to go through and stick the bar through, that was the worst part out of the whole piercing. And then also, um, my cartilage is like really, really thick apparently up top and so he had to shove the needle through, but most people don't have that problem, it goes straight through. So nine, uh, I'd give this piercing probably an eight out of 10. It hurt, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it does hurt, but mine has healed beautifully so if you guys have any other questions about my industrial please leave them below make sure you subscribe and like and yeah see you guys later